Um dia após o Hamas ter atacado Israel e feito quase duas centenas de reféns, um grupo de civis organizou-se para dar apoio às famílias dos desaparecidos. Médicos, advogados, psicólogos e especialistas em comunicação trabalham 24 horas por dia para ajudar quem espera por uma resposta que tarda em chegar. Duas semanas após o atentado, a organização critica a falta de apoio demonstrada pelo governo israelita e pela comunidade internacional às famílias dos reféns. Our people are not getting any sort of assistance. We've begged everyone, including the Red Cross, including every international organization and government, to provide medical care for our loved ones, and that's not happening. We're not receiving any form of aid. Yarden Roman Gat, 35 anos e dupla nacionalidade israelo-alemã, está entre os desaparecidos. Mas o irmão mantém acesa a esperança de rever. I always hope that all those interviews, there are also groups of people the Hamas that are watching, and all I hope is that maybe they'll release a video showing that she's safe and sound, saying how important it is for her daughter. How do you tell a three-year-old that her grandmother was murdered by the bad people that got to their, her home? She saw them. She understands. I was just scared that she'll ask, is that the same thing that they're going to do tomorrow? I don't even want to think about how they treat them, what they do with them. That's going to be the new terror. That's going to be everywhere in the world. Today, it's... Israel and it's in the Gaza border and it's Jewish people. But tomorrow, who knows? A família corria em direção a um bosque quando Yardan foi apanhada. Foi vista pela última vez a entregar a filha ao marido antes de cair nas mãos do Hamas.